to approve the minutes for February 8th to 20, what, 2023 or 24? Is that a typo? Yes, a typo. Okay. Are, are we doing two separate motions because there was a special meeting in there as well for February or do we want to combine everything into one? We have the meeting minutes for February 8th and February 12th. Okay, February 12th. All right. Make a motion to approve both February 8th Regular meeting minutes and the February 12th special meeting minutes. Second. Mr. Barastecki. Yes. Mrs. Bryce. Yes. Mr. Bryce. Yes. Mr. McDowell. Yes. Mrs. Bianca. Yes. Mr. Parada. Aye. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Um, we have a guest speaker, Tom Alessandro. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Madam President, Council. Uh, one of my, my cousin Ron and I are here to discuss the Aiden Alessandro Veterans Memorial. Some pretty, uh, pretty good news we got recently. Uh, you may have seen the articles in the Mon Valley Independent talking about our application we submitted the local share account funding, which comes from the uh, casino. And uh, as of late last week, we received a formal notification from Washington County Commissioners, who's probably just floating around up there, that we have been awarded 119,000 uh, yes, in, uh, in accordance to our architect, that will be enough money to finish the project, project as it is designed. Uh, the next step is we will receive a letter from the Washington County Redevelopment Authority who we will work with throughout the process, as well as our architect, Ken Kulak, to make sure the project goes smoothly. Um, we were told the funds will be received by us uh, late this summer, but we will plan to do any kind of footwork we can prior to that to, uh, to ensure the project gets a good, uh, a good start. Um, I want to publicly thank Washington County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Promotion Agency, uh, Jeff Petola. Uh, he took an early interest in the project, and since that time, he's been a real, a real mentor for us. He guided us through that, through that important process. I also want to thank Mon Valley, Alli Mon Valley Alliance, Jamie Galecci. Uh, he was a sponsor, his group was a sponsor of our application. They helped us prepare the, uh, the submittal, and it went through smoothly. And I also want to thank the uh, members of the Application Review Committee, 
and that includes all of our commissioners, Maggie, uh, Janice, and Sherman, uh, Senator Barbalata, our local legislator, Tim O'Neill, and the number of people whose names I don't have yet, but there's a board of 14 people, and uh, we didn't get some of those names yet, and we'll be sending them a formal thank you. Um, we had a meeting with one of the officials on Tuesday and talked about where we are right now and the steps to, steps to proceed. The only potential glitch is we need to get uh, some property or easements in place and uh, the agreement with the borough in place. Uh, but we say that's the only potential glitch as far as us receiving funds. I think Ron and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Tuffriani spoke last night on that and you know, we're hoping to move that forward. Uh, Gilmore Electric has been really enthusiastic about getting that easement in place, so we're looking to get the final two hurdles out of our way and we should be ready to go. Uh, regarding the future, we're still planning to take and uh, continue to raise funds. Uh, as you know, we've been distributing funds uh, as long as our organization has been in place in the same 80s to local charities that have been on, uh, you know, supporting the sports, uh, uh, Salvation Army, Fire Department, on and on and on. We will continue to do that uh, by our, uh, our fundraising activities, and we're going to have a golf outing. And uh, we also still have a brick drive going on. Uh, we have some brochures here if anybody's interested in those. And I uh, want to thank you, the borough, for your continued support for this process. We're really thank you. <coughs> yeah, now, Mr. Tabrani has all the information we'll need on what we have to sign off on. Uh, I suppose, Steve, you need anything else? I'll reach out to you if I do. I may have some questions just about the easement language and what the specific requirements are. Okay. I'll have the details and everything else they said. Yeah, you have to be Oh, so yeah, we we can talk offline about that and uh, discuss with the council. Maybe there was some talk on how to help people in the community. You show everybody that you want to do it. Anything we can do as a town to help people in the community? I don't I don't think there's anything with the planning commission or anything or with the easements. No. Okay. So just to support construction. Okay. And it's just like I said, my thing was, uh, yeah. you know, to the commissioners and so on, this is a, it's a huge thing for Kamara, but also it's a huge thing for the six donor names on those plaques. And, you know, they're different. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a guest speaker, Christopher Hendershaw from the Allegheny Health Network. of her duties there was a traumatic incident which basically involved an amputation of a limb. Um, I'm sure anybody here can imagine uh, that that event itself can not only be traumatic mentally and psychologically but it's also extremely dangerous from a physicality standpoint and morality. Um, what I hope everyone here realizes tonight is that the individuals that we're going to recognize, the residents of Denora and the surrounding community should be extremely proud of these individuals and the expertise that sits within this room and what they deployed that day between their medical knowledge, treatment, collaboration, unique rescue techniques, provided the opportunity for that patient to not only seek immediate treatment and also transportation that she now continues to move towards a healthy life with rehabilitation, that it also affords those type of services for your residents. It's a rarity, especially within public safety, that thanks comes. Many people don't wanna to have to call 911, but when you do, you want these types of individuals present. The organizations that we're recognizing here tonight are 
Ross Draper, West Newton Emergency <coughs> Services, Denora Police, Denora Fire Department, Carroll Township Volunteer Fire Department, as well as Allegheny Health Network's Pre-Hospital Response Services. Um, each one of these individuals is receiving a recognition tonight. It says a lot better than I ever could, so I'll read that here, and then we'll go ahead and name the individuals. These certificates are presented to these providers tonight in grateful appreciation and recognition of your outstanding service, dedication, and courage as a first responder. Your selfless efforts and commitment to serving and protecting the community are truly admirable. Your quick thinking, professionalism, and compassion in times of crisis are exemplary, reflecting the highest standards of excellent in emergency situations. Presented with much gratitude on this day, March 14th, 2024, and on behalf of Allegheny Health and Pre-Hospital Services, our Vice President, Mr. Robert Twaddle, and our System Medical Director, Dr. Chad Messner. Those individuals tonight are Ms. Brianne Carr. So if you could. Ms. Carissa Mulholland. Mr. Bill Blair. Brett Robert Greenlee. Cody Munn. Chad E. Ritchie. Miguel Tunnan. Patsy Vince. Thomas from Zaglio. Gordon Anderson. Reese Taylor. Isaac Petrosky. And Robert Dorkin. Again, we thank each and every single one of you for what you did that day. It is not an easy task, especially within public safety. So thank you very much for what you do, your dedication, your compassion for this. We can't thank you enough. Uh, a patient was most definitely impacted by all of your efforts that day. Um, and on behalf of her, as well as again, the Health Network, thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the North Council, I'm sure all my members of council were here with me. We are very proud of you. We thank you, and that you all deserve this honor, above and beyond. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much.
real report. Okay. We had treasurer's report for February 2024. The balance in the checking account as of February 1st was $1,362,316.12. Total receipts were $151,722.31. Temporary investments as of February 1st was $422,722.05. Total funds available, $1,936,000, I'm sorry, $1,936,760.48. The total expenditures were $158,811.79. Temporary investments as of February 29th, 2024, $422,384.06. The balance in the checking account as of February 29, 2024 is $1,355,226.64. Okay. The grand total for the bill report was $120,174.43. I make a motion to accept the bill report as read and the treasurer's, treasurer's report. report. I'll second. Okay, motion by Mrs. Pavelka, second by Mr. Thompson. Roll call, please. Mr. Second. Yes. Mrs. Bryce. Yes. Mr. Bryce. Yes. Mr. McDowell. Yes. Mrs. Pavelka? Aye. Mrs. Broderick? Aye. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries 7-0. Okay. We have a motion to approve the Mon Valley Transit Authority cert certification resolution form to pay the required local match amount of $3,348 for the 2024 fiscal year. Miss no Vidalvo had surgery, and I yeah. don't believe she was oh. able to pre uh, prepare it for us. Yes. All right. So we you know, we just don't have a tax report. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. So I have a motion to um, approve the Mon Valley Transit Authority certification resolution form to pay the required local match amount of three thousand three hundred forty-eight dollars for the two thousand twenty-four fiscal year. Okay. Motion to approve by Mrs. Pavelka. Someone one second. Was the resolution made? Yeah, yeah it's right yeah. here. You did just oh, we that one question. Yeah, the resolution was yeah. out. We, we discussed this, but oh, this, yeah, yeah. no, I know we discussed. I didn't know it was formally written out. Okay. Yeah, we have the motion. They provide. Okay. Uh, I need a second. Second. Okay. Motion by Mrs. Pavelka. Second by Mr. Bryce. Roll call, please. Mr. Barastecki? Aye. Mrs. Bryce? Yes. Mr. Bryce? Yes. Mr. McDowell? Yes. Mrs. Pavelka? Aye. Mr. Farrar? Aye. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. I have a motion to approve the payment of the MCS inspection fees charge for services related to the MVSA project from our expected building permit fee. I need to ask Mr. Uh, what is that? Okay, let me type this real quick. So, with these fees, the borough does not employ a certified plans examiner and or commercial building inspector. We are going to be receiving $135,009 in permit fees for the borough of Denora for the Mon Valley Sewage Authority project. With that, under the old ordinance, whenever the borough did employ a building inspector, the plan review, the, the inspections, that was all included in the building permit fees. Now that we do not employ a certified building inspector, we have to subcontract out. And the total invoice for the plan review, inspections, and everything comes to $30,000. Eighty-eight dollars and ten cents. Okay. 
that's just our share for the services that we we acquired from the other people who so are on the project. The, my philosophy, and, and I confirmed this with Mr. Thornton, for a paper trail, for documentation purposes, instead of having the sewage authority write two different checks, it would be easier for us to collect the money and then us reimburse the uh, inspector their fees afterwards. Mike, is that? So we'll be collecting the 30000 We will be collecting the $135,009 permit fee, and we would be paying out of that $30,088.10 to the <coughs> inspector company. We would net approximately $104,000 okay. from that. But that's our, so we, we have to pay for those services. Correct. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Thank you. Okay, so you made a motion. Yes, the bell goes. I need a second for that one, please. Second. Okay, motion by Mrs. Favelko, second by Mr. Parada. Roll call, please. Mr. Verstecki. Aye. Mrs. Bryce? Yes. Mr. Bryce? Yes. Mr. McDowell? Yes. Mrs. Favelko? Aye. Mr. Parada? Aye. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. That's all I have. Thank you, Mrs. Favelko. Uh, Mr. Parada, would you take Cal Sanitation and Code, please? Building permit report for February. Zero permits issued for the month. No money collected. Registration fee report for February, $3,015. Year-to-date collected, $9,910. Rental inspection report for the month of February, $400. Year-to-date, $900. Occupancy report. $600 collected for February, $1,000 year to date. Sanitation report for the month of February, $45,296.66. Year to date collected is $149,474.69. Delinquent sanitation fees collected for the month of February is $249.78. And year to date sanitation, delinquent sanitation fees collected is $688.15. Total fines collected through the magistrate's office was $2,756.66. Uh, street openings for the month of February, they collected payments for four and a total of 20 for the year to date. And the total street openings was $1,000 for February and year to date $5,000. Um, at this time, I would like to thank Mr. Volpe, Officer Dorkin, and Officer Johnson for tagging abandoned and junk vehicles over the past few days. A total of 18 vehicles were tagged and Officer Johnson worked last night and he said a few of them have already been removed and corrected and the ones that are still on private property will have to be turned over to Mr. Volpe for follow-up with uh, letters to the property owners. That's it. Uh, I had a little bit more. I also would like the taxpayers and the residents to know that the Health, Sanitation, and Code Committee, myself, along with Mr. Barastecki and Mr. McDowell, have discussed and recommends that the borough take a somewhat aggressive stance on code enforcement and property maintenance to clean up these eyesores in the borough. Yes, we are willing to work with people by giving extension, granting extensions on a case-by-case -case basis, but people also need to openly communicate with us borough officials. Failure to communicate and comply with the violation notices are an issue, especially with out-of-state, out-of-town property owners. People need to be held accountable for failing to respond within a reasonable specified time frame. Blatantly ignoring borough violation notices will not be tolerated. Thank you, Mr. Parada. Um, recreation, Mr. Barastecki? I, I have I have very little monies collected during the month of February is one thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars, and the year to date totals two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. And that is my report. I I guess it was mentioned at the uh, <clears throat> meeting last week about the work that was done up to Palmer Park. Do you care to talk about that on that one pavilion concerning the past? It's completed, and uh, we're pretty confident that we'll carry the problem there. We, you know, we should be able to run it off. Oh, it's great. 
we could rent it. Yes. Oh, Mr. Burkett, you didn't bring it to your attention. Someone called this week, and when you do your project up there with that pavilion they're putting up, we should have extra money left over for playground equipment. There was a request for somebody to say we should invest in a couple baby swings, if that's possible. Sure. So there's nothing up there for infants. Yeah. I'm just passing that along to you for your future project. All right. Makes sense. Thank you. That's my report. Thank you. Do you, do you have anything else? Nope. Yeah, you know, the bad house, I did get the uh, one call for to put the bad house in. They're going to be uh, coming anywhere from uh, Wednesday to Friday to install it. it. Sounds like it's a pretty big unit. Okay, and then also added to that, since you mentioned Bad House, we did get a donation from CSX. CNX. CNX. CNX, I'm sorry. And they donated uh, the money to, for the materials so we can fill in the bottom of the cover of the pavilion so the bats can't get back in there. So that project will be moving along, and that was very generous of them to donate that money to finish that project. Yeah, Michelle Barris was uh, she the was the founder. one that really uh, spearheaded that, and she stuck with it, and she needs a lot, of, you know, recognition. recognition. Absolutely, uh, she did a very great job. She did a great job. Great. Thank you. Okay, community affairs, Mr. McDowell. Um, I've been on report for the month of uh, February 2024. Money collected five hundred fifty dollars here to date six hundred. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. McDowell. Uh, yes, I just want to add that uh, you know I'd like to start getting uh, having people come around and see what we can do with this new building. Uh, I've asked for different things at different times, and I want to get in here and try to clean the place up a little bit. We have money set aside, so let's start using it. Plus, we have the other money that we have uh, right there. Uh, We have to have that earmark. We have to use it. We have to have an earmark. So now that we have time, let's go through and see some of the things that we would like to see. I know that uh, I would like to see Chief Grant's office. Yeah, police station, uh, uh, everything, right? Police station. We don't have to get it all done at once, but we can start somewhere. You know, let's start up high, maybe with lighting and ceiling, and maybe paint and go through like uh, the police station. We can get upstairs and some other things, and then come back and do the floors. But we're not we're not blowing a lot of money all at once. Okay. We're steps at a time. Do you want uh, Mr. Rands to get the quotes, or do you want Mr. Uh, Thornton to work on that? Uh, Mr. Thornton and Mr. With Mr. Thornton and Mr. Rands, I don't know exactly what uh, Chief Rands would like his office to look up, to look for. You know, I know we were pursuing everything. Not too much will change. I think the most important thing with the police station downstairs is the cabinets. We need new cabinets and we need a good, a nice uh, and a, workplace for the guys. And a better so, restroom. Yes. Well, we need to get by with the restroom now. But well, I'm we'll, just, be able to, we'll be able to do that. You're probably going to use a kitchen and bath uh, company to do the cabinetry yeah. anyway. So well, while they're there, they can just quote you on a bathroom remodel. Yeah, it's like about to see it while they're there, right? Yeah, it's going to be, I was thinking on the order to go to where they sell, <coughs> you know, cabinets maybe at a wholesale price. Well, somebody still has to install it. Yeah, exactly. We well put it this way. If you're saving five, ten thousand dollars on the uh, on cabinets itself, you know, it's easy to get somebody to install it. All right. Well, thank you. You know what? You two can get together and think of somebody, have a couple people come in and give you some quotes. Great. Okay, Highways and Streets, Mr. Thompson. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to uh, rehire students at two of them in the summer and uh, holiday help. What's that, Dee? The, uh, the two high school kids? Yeah. Yeah. We were requesting to bring them back for the uh, when? Summer. When? Yeah, as well, needed. And well, they were pretty steady last year. You know, yeah, I worked, uh, then when they were off school during the holidays, and we were working, they would come out to work. What's the time, the proper time? I'll say it was about 7 to 3. No, I mean, uh, June, May, April. June, July. I would say earlier than that, because I'll say, we're just, 
this far away from starting to catch up. It'll be another thing next week, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll leave it up to the dean's discretion when you call. Yes. Just let us know. Yeah, I mean, they're at school. So well, they, yeah, they're at school, so they can only work so many days. Yeah. Are we hiring the same people, or did we get new applicants? So we still have the same two kids. They still want to work. They worked last year. With them. But they still want, right? They're still on payroll and still on the yeah. books, correct? Yeah. Right. One of the things I wanted to bring to your attention, are we down one person in the um, street one? One yes. part time. Okay, so that that one part time that we are down, the wages for that, we did not budget for um, this year to put the in the students because it wasn't something that we budgeted for. But um, so I think the rate, start, rate, starting rate that you said for those students was $14 an hour. Yeah. So that would put us over. I just want to make you yeah. aware that that's going to put us over the budget. That's twenty-eight dollars for the two per hour. So that wasn't budgeted for. So that's something that we have to make sure. But we budgeted that for we, a part time for the whole year, and they're only going to be here for a couple okay, of months. I just to bring so you should. Yeah, we should be all. We should be well within the parameters. Right. Make sure that yeah. we're you know. Since we're down one, those two will be able to. It's going to be. The, the one break of one yeah. person, but being that you know we did budget for it, I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Okay, but like I said, it should work out because they're only going to work a couple of months yeah. Yeah. as opposed to the whole year. And I'm, okay. I'm, I'm good with that, but no, I just wanted to. All right, Mr. Thompson, is there anything else? Um, just no, uh, 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 we need we need to make a oh, someone sorry. needs to second that motion. Second, I'm sorry, excuse me. I'll second that. Motion by Mr. Thompson to approve that we hire two students. Second by Mrs. Pavelko. Roll call, please. Mr. Pierce, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Brace. Yes. Mr. Brace. Yes. Mr. McDowell. Yes. Mrs. Pavelko. Aye. Mr. Parada. Aye. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Motion carries 7-0. I got lost on this side conference about that stuff. <laughs> The part for the escalator committee, correct? Yes. Great. Timetable is it would be up with excuse me, Bernie. Approximately. Approximately we're up in a week. Have we started on it that week? We just picked the part up this afternoon. Uh, and then it's gonna be weather permitting and if everything else is going on. So now I mean this is April. I don't know what this expert. I can't hear you, Mike. I'm sorry. Well, it's, it's the exhaust manifold. I mean, what I'm, you're talking about weather. You can't pull that oh. inside? No, no, you can't okay. hear me. Right now, it's stored on. You can't move it. Oh. You can't okay. start. So I would have had it in. I would have been in trouble because it would have tied a little rug. Okay. And I thought they just had it on a uh, uh, trailer or something. No. Is that the way it's trying? Is that the way it The head machine's too big. Okay, I, didn't, I don't know what you have down there. We tried that around when we needed. Yeah. So, so Dean, upon uh, fixing this, um, Mr. Volpe sent us all an email today regarding the five property. He initially reported six properties that had structures on it that the borough owned, but it, after he reviewed everything, there's only five. Um, the addresses are 856 Heslop Avenue, 612 Thompson Avenue, 446 6th Street, 647 McCain Avenue and the church at 5th and Thompson. Now we already know that 647 McCain is in the process. Uh, Mr. Thornton's working on that. And then the church on 5th Street, we know that that's going to have to be bid out. Correct? Yes. Okay. So, no, no, so of the three properties, 856 Heslop, 612 Thompson, and 446 6th Street. What would be the easiest one for you to start with? I would say 612 Thompson. Okay, well, why don't you lay out a little plan for us and say, this is the one I'd like to do first, this is the one I'd like to do second, and then we'll figure out as you go how much it's costing us in dump fees okay. in Manpower. And we'd appreciate it if you could just write that up, what order you'd like to go. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Uh, public safety, Mr. Bryce. Okay, uh, police report for February of 2024. There was 326 
complaints, uh, 49 reportable uh, incidents, 14 arrests, 10 motor vehicle arrests, 10 warnings, um, 2,078 miles, uh, 3,467 dollars and 97 cents in lease overtime, 420 dollars and 18 cents in court time. Uh, Here's twenty dollars brought in for uh, parking permits. Sixty dollars in police reports. Seven hundred fifty dollars and sixty-six cents in magistrate fines for a total of eight hundred ten dollars and sixty-six cents. Um, I'd like to make a motion to appoint. Uh, new Civil Service Commission. Okay. Okay. Um, from my understanding, the members, I mean, the uh, people that I put in was Kevin Davis, Joshua Lamb, and um, Carol Soltis, and the alternate would be uh, Donna Rodriguez. So, yes. well, are, are we, I know it's a six-year, four-year, and a two-year term. Are we appointing that? You go in order of age. We'll give the oldest person, the least amount, and the youngest person the most. So, uh, so three, are we doing three separate motions? I think it would be better to do three separate motions for the, for the six-year, four-year, and two-year term. Kevin, Carol and Joshua Lynn. So, which one's having this two-year term? The two-year term would be Carol Soltis. So are we going to do three separate motions? We, if you want to do it, each no, one individually. No, no just okay. do Carol, so Carol, Carol to the two Davis year. Is two, Kevin Davis is four, four and, and Joshua, Joshua Lamb six. is six. All starting in January of 24, and they would expire at the end of that term in December. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, you made a motion to appoint three people to the Civil Service Commission and one alternative. alternative. Uh, alternative. I, I'm getting there. I, <laughs> I, I think the alternate might have to be a separate motion because I, I would have to abstain from the alternate motion due to being a family relative. Okay, well, okay, let's do the three members to the Civil Service Commission. All right, which would be make a motion to appoint uh, Joshua Lamb, Carol Soltis, and Kevin Davis. I second that. Jim, you want to make that motion? I'll make that motion. Okay, Carol. Okay. I second that. Right. Motion by Mr. Bryce, second by Mrs. Pavelko. Roll call, please. Mr. Barry Stuckey? Aye. Mrs. Bryce? Yes. Mr. Bryce? Yes. Yes. Mrs. Pavelka. Aye. Mr. Pereira. Aye. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Motion carries 7-0. Now you're going to have to make a motion for the motion. Make a motion to appoint Donna. appoint Donna Rodriguez as the alternate with a six-year term. There is no term on the alternate. Make a motion to appoint Donna Rodriguez as the alternate to the Civil Service Commission. Okay. Second. second. Okay. Motion made by Mr. Bryce to make Donna an alternate, Donna Rodriguez, and second by Mrs. Pavelko. Roll call, please. Mr. Barristecki? Aye. Mrs. Bryce? Yes. Mr. Bryce? Yes. Mr. McDowell? Yes. Mrs. Pavelko? Aye. Mr. Parada? I abstain. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries 6 0, 1 abstains. That's all I have. She did. Thank you, Mr. Bryce. Okay. Yeah, where's that? Alright, okay, we're gonna okay. We don't do new, but let me see. Is uh, is there a solicitor's report, please? No, oh, I missed the mayor, sorry. 
Mayor's report. Thank you, Madam President. Now, if you've noticed, I haven't said much uh, for, uh, this year. <clears throat> Tonight, I want to start a campaign for our ambulance service. With the way health care is today, rising insurance costs, understaffing, and state and federal governments not contributing enough to health care, local ambulance services are having a rough time operating. <coughs> Over the years, I've only been transported three times by ambulance. Thank God the first time it was a lifesaver. Uh, my wife took me up to a fire scene after, uh, after an operation and I was totally out of it. I woke up to Casey Parada on my chest <laughs> saying he has no uh, no pulse, no blood pressure. Well, the no, you had a pulse, you just had a low blood pressure. Whatever. <laughs> I, was, I was almost dead. <laughs> so anyway, long story short, they got me to the hospital, and I'm here today. Uh, now that I'm a senior citizen, I finally realized that me and Deanne, although she's much younger, need to get a membership with the Norris Ambulance Provider, <coughs> Ross Traver, West Newton Ambulance uh, Service. Now before, God forbid, something does happen, and if we don't need it, it's still the best $70 I've invested in, in my life. At our work session last week, Greg Kaminsky, uh, office manager, and Rob Stark, education and operations supervisor, attended to explain that their, diff, uh, their difficulty and to ask the borough to contribute tax money. Well, council and myself told them there was no wiggle room in our budget to make any contribution at this time. They informed us out of the 2,469 households, only 130 had uh, at a membership in 2023. That is only about 5%. Now, I was told by them, if we could get the membership up to 30 to 40%, there would be no need for a tax. Now, I know you're still paying, I understand that, but you're paying, you'll have the benefit of uh, of the uh, membership of the uh, of the ambulance service, uh, there, there there will be no need for a tax in the future. And God, <coughs> God forbid, if you need to be transported, an ambulance will be there. Now I'm going to turn to uh, Chief uh, Vince. Now we had a problem a few years ago. Am I right? Yeah, Chief. What what is the rating of our ambulance service now? Uh, it's nowhere near what we were waiting. I mean, some of the years here within five minutes. <coughs> when they're in town, because they're in town, they're, they, they pick the, the most busiest time when they get most of their calls. So there is an ambulance in town on, on that, the times that they got set. I mean, when they're not in town, their stage stuff is up. They'll burn at the parking garage to get here where they come out of Earthville up there. And, and they also informed me uh, if we get that percentage up, they'll be able to spend more time in Denora. Uh, just for example, uh, February, they had uh, 70, 78 calls. Out of those eight calls, there was uh, five canceled and eight refused. So that came out to 13 times they came out and received no payment whatsoever. Uh, so tonight I'm kicking off the ambulance campaign and I will be beating everybody's ear from now until April 14th at our next uh, public meeting. And I hope you all would think about getting the membership. <clears throat> and I will personally pay for somebody who picked at random for their $70 uh, membership fee.
And you'll see that tonight, you see what we have tonight. <clears throat> Madam uh, President, I'm about to Thank you very Thank much. You. It's 70, yeah. <coughs> 70 for family, 60 for single. If anyone is on medical assistance through the federal government, you are un ineligible to subscribe. Okay. All right. Mr. Ciprani? Nothing. Mr. Rand? Nothing. Uh, Mr. Fonzalio? Nothing. Mr. Vince? Yeah, I have something. What? On some of these properties, that either are uh, owned by people that, that are renting these properties out. Is they're not doing the upkeep on them. We have a lot of properties that people are paying for high rent to live here, and the property owners aren't keeping these houses up to snuff to have people living in them. So we need to start clamping down on them and really getting on these people to do something because there's a lot of places that people are living that it's not safe for people to be in. So we need to start clamping down on the ones that there's quite a few of them out there that's disarray that really need something done for them. Uh, Mr. Volpe, I know Chief Vince contacted me about one property that they responded to, and I, I know I emailed you and copied Chief Vince on it. Were you able to take a look at that property yet? I did have a chance. I went up and knocked on the door. I went up there twice, two separate occasions. Nobody answered the door when I was up there. I, I'm, I'm not going to reveal the address. Chief yeah, Vince yeah. knows which one it is, but... Yeah, uh, but I got your, you, your communication and everything was fine. I don't know if you're going I can't do anything if I can't, they don't let me in. I, I understand that. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Volpe? Um, for the month of February, um, we there were 10 notice violations. Um, two were cleared. Um, three were no, um, identified as dangerous properties and were documented. And um, two junk vehicles were, were removed. And that's part of the list that Council President brought up is working on and you know if i send out a notice of, uh, notice of violation it's a it, it's a common it's a uh, what's the word i'm looking for it's a courtesy i can just send a citation out. i would much rather you folks fix up the property that where it requires than have to go through a magistrate i'm much more into compliance than fine and i'm easy to get along with um, i've helped out some of you that have had complaints that we're able to get um, action on some more. It takes a little bit of time. But I'm, I'm not here to bust anybody's chops. If you have a problem that you're not able to get something fixed right away, we can work with you and be more than happy to even try to find you uh, a solution to your problem. And, and that's what I mentioned earlier. I mean, communication is the key. If they make contact with you, then all is well. But if a for, for a vehicle that has an expired inspection sticker of 2018 if they don't have the money to fix it within the past five years i mean they're not going to have the money to fix it in the next two weeks so i mean i agree with open communication and i'm and i agree with granting people extensions on a case-by-case -case basis but at some point in time we need to step up our game Right. If I may, Madam Chair, something else that we could mention about these abandoned vehicles, if, if the owners of the vehicles so desire to donate the car, I do believe they used to see commercials on TV to the Kidney Foundation and so on, that they turn over the title to the Kidney Foundation or even our fire company would be willing to do that too. So that's a tax deduction for the uh, owner of the vehicle. They could sell them for scrap too. I mean, there's always people yeah. with their cars. But. And there's people that come out, they come right to your house and get yeah. your car. You know, they'll give you a price, quote, quote your price over the phone or whatever, and uh, email you at the price they'll give you. They'll come out and pick your car right up right at your house. But on a different note, I'd like to thank Mr. Parada and Mr. Volpe for uh, aggressively pursuing these here uh, dilapidated homes that have. I mean, at this time, you know, this, this is a good time to start, you know, cleaning up our neighborhood, cleaning up our town. You know, we want businesses to come here. We want somebody, we want people to come here and live. 
But you know, you have to have a curb, a curb appeal. When you ride through town or you ride up on a hill and you see a house with all kind of stuff on the porch, all kind of stuff in the yard, a car sitting in the yard, this isn't a place where I want to bring a business. So I want to thank Mr. Uh, Parada and Mr. Volpe. They've been uh, aggressively pursuing these things, cleaning uh, our town up. So a big thank you to both of them. I, I have one question on that. I the Christmas Eve fire, this is now March. Do we have any updates on those houses down? Yes, we do. The, yes, we did. Okay, I just wanted, I haven't heard, I, I just wanted to know. Now, um, yes. So the, um, the house to the left is ready to be torn down. Okay. The house on the right is ready to be torn down. The, where the fire started, I'm having a problem with the person that owns it because of he said, she said stuff that's going on. Because like apparently rent -own. it's a rent to own and this and that. And I have told him, ultimately, it is your responsibility. He's trying to make me shady deals on, oh, well, if, if the borough does this, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. No, we're not interested. Did, I mean, you have, do you have that in writing in an email or was this phone conversation? A lot of it was phone conversation. Well, I, we know who he is. I'm well aware of it. Excuse me. I talked to Dane Warren about a few days ago. He told me within the month he's going in to tear off three homes down. He's already contacted us. I know one of the buildings has already provided a copy of their asbestos report. I don't know about the other two. The, the one that was, the insurance company did their thing, there was no asbestos in that other house. Okay, as long as we have something in writing, and that way we can put in our file, just in case something happens down the road. All right. Well, okay, they're going to be taken down. I have one more question. The house that burnt Ida Jean's house several years ago is still unsecure. It's, yeah, I know it was bought, sold by somebody else. It's in the same block. What are we doing about getting that building secure? That, that owner is in Cannonsburg. We already looked up the property ownership, but I'm not sure if a letter has been sent. No, I don't... I've, I've been in correspondence with her. Okay, and? She's had several dumpsters there. She's working to get that stuff out of there, cleaned up, and rehab the house, and make, make it habitable. No, the longer the windows are open, the, lo the more water is going to infiltrate all the structural supports. Yeah, okay. it's, just, it's an eyesore. It's a terrible um, way to leave a house. An example of where our hands are tied by a homeowner, a property owner. I mean, you have an indulgible right. You do have rights, but we have to still follow procedures. It's, She's already years. Years. This, 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 now we have four, four I'll houses. raise your oh, voice oh, to me. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Four houses on the block we never hear anything about. Okay, oh. while the three are coming down, Mr. Nedro. Yeah, well, he's saying one oh. thing, he's saying another. No, I talked oh, to the owner. Did tell us? We just told you. They're coming down. Well, he just said about us. No, Madam report. President, I'm going to ask for a point of order. It, you know what? There's a public right. participation. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, stop. Thanks, dude. We, okay. One question. What? Joe, can you give us an update on the building on 3rd Street near the bridge that caught on fire a month or so ago? What's happening there? The gentleman is looking for vendors to tear the property down. Okay. I spoke with him a couple of weeks. I have files on all these guys and I've reached out to them. Right. Yeah. I have a question. I'm a little confused by this body. Now, you said you talked to him on that. I talked to it was Thursday night, I talked to Dan. He said he's, he's up tearing to all three of them down? Yeah, he, he said he had some issues dealing with Jolly, but they can't do an agreement. Because he's got to take Jolly's house down first. So, take him and, uh, so he up. said within a month or he's going to be in there. So, okay, so, sure you're getting all three so but my, my question is, why why are they communicating, why are they not communicating with Mr. Volpe? Because Mr. Volpe is giving the report on this and we council doesn't have answers. Well, the thing of it is, if it's still owned by other people. I, I understand that, Cindy, and this is the problem that, that I brought up. I requested a motion on Monday to be put on this agenda, and somebody had the motion removed. You know, going back, September 14th of 2023, okay. I mean, you can roll your eyes at me all you want, but I'm just stating facts. 20, September 14th of 2023, Mrs. Vitalbo and her son Matt came to this council oh, meeting stop. requesting I'm about, not going to let you sit here and all over all I, time. I have stop. a right to speak stop. at a council meeting. Stop. You I'm an what? elected official yes, just like you are. you are. And you are out of your lane. I am not out of you my lane. You are out of your lane. Okay. 
Okay. I make a motion to amend this agenda no. to no. put my original no. motion onto happening. the floor. It's not happening. I'll second that. It's not happening. We have a motion and it has been seconded. Can we please have a roll call? What, is, what, are, you, what are you voting on? We, you to amend on? the agenda to put my motion back on the table. What motion are you talking about? The motion that I had to authorize the solicitor to draft an ordinance pertaining to the regulations of administrative search warrants for code officials. We are not giving you permission to bust in people. I houses. never said that. Yes, well, we all know where you go with that. Mrs. Vitalvo came here September 14th of 2023 requesting to know why the borough was not enforcing this. Listen, we are not going to give anybody in this borough permission to enter somebody's we, property. We have a motion on the floor and it's been seconded. What are you voting on? Where to amend it? the Where agenda. We are not voting on that order. It is, no a order. motion has There's been made and here. it has been seconded. There's nothing here. We've never read. It needed to be read twice. It needed to be agreed upon. Uh, this is not to approve the ordinance. This is a, to approve the solicitor to draft an ordinance. Listen. A motion has been made and it has been seconded. Absolutely not. Madam Chair, I think he has the right to re make this motion and I do I believe why. it's been properly moved and seconded. Moved and seconded. The, the community do has you understand been, what you're, what you're doing May I please here? finish? Do I you didn't understand what this means? Yes, I do. Do you really? Yes, I do. The you residents. Understand that you're going to give if, if you don't like it, council can vote no, and that's fine. Right. But that's going to show the taxpayers that council doesn't care. No, that doesn't show the taxpayers half of what the hell has been going on here. Okay, let me tell you, not even half of what. Madam President, there's a motion on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're out of your lane. I, I'm not. It wasn't brought up at the work session. And neither was the police uh, sick leave policy. Okay, did you see it on here? It wasn't it's on the agenda. On the agenda. It wasn't on the agenda. It's not on the agenda. And I made a motion to amend the agenda for this evening's it. meeting. Why don't you just get yourself under control? I am under control. You're no, not. Please, Mr. Parada. You're Madam President, I have a motion on the floor and it has been seconded. Absolutely not. You don't have the right to refuse that. Casey, it wasn't brought up at the work what session. Second. That's why I made a motion to amend the agenda amend to get it put on. It requires expenditure of funds. Yeah, it requires money being spent, so we're not doing it. We're not doing it. it I'm not rescinding money. my motion. It requires money. We're not doing it. I'm not rescinding my motion. If you would like to vote it down, vote it down. But I am not I'm rescinding not voting, my motion. I'm not voting on anything. We're not voting on anything that takes Mr. money. Mr. DePrani. Well, Your legal know. opinion, a, a, a motion has been seconded. My only concern is this, and I run into this issue periodically. It's what the Sunshine Act strict requirements prevent, which is the expenditure of funds in a non emergency manner. Directing me to produce it is the expenditure of borrowed funds, which it will possibly be used to prepare the ordinance. You're just counting votes. You're counting votes. What, I made a motion to amend the agenda. Listen, when did you go to law school? When did you? I didn't. I'm not. I'm not. You're refusing a motion. I'm it's been mo you. a motion has been made and it's been seconded. You, because you're out of line. I am not. I'm well you're within my rights. You are out of line. Disagree. Well, who cares? The maker of the motion at this time, I, I would like to suggest that we put this on the agenda. For the next month's work section meeting, and, and so that we can discuss yes. this. Right, you have more. no idea what you're doing. So, Mike Horton, would you please put this on the work section agenda for next month? This motion that Casey um, a motion is on the floor. Somebody would have to make a motion to table it. I make a motion to table this. I second. It. There you go. Done. Okay, we can move on. There's no, roll call has to be taken. For what? Because we have a motion on the floor and it's been a motion to table the previous motion. Motion to table. Roll call. Wait. Deanne made a motion to table and call me second. Okay, Mr. Mayor Stegge. I'm going to vote no. I would like to see this voted on tonight. Mrs. Bryce. I say yes. Mr. Bryce. Yes. Mr. McDowell. No. 
Nay. Well, before I vote yes, uh, we, I got to know more about it. I think uh, if we bring up the work session, talk about it, we'll, I can't vote on something I don't even know about. Is that a is that a yes or an abstention? Yes, the table. Yes, the table. Right. There you go. And I agree, Tom. I need more information. We need more information. I just can't make right. a decision like that. Okay. Now, old business, new business. We do have something that came up this past week that we must deal with. Our computer systems have been compromised. Okay. Some file. Somebody got in there. Something happened. Uh, it's been compromised. The, the payroll account's been compromised. Our cell phones are compromised. So, Mr. Thornton through the Mon Valley Alliance reached out to a company and they're going to come in and pretty much firewall us and do whatever they need to do to wipe these computers clean of whatever's gotten in there. Our phones are compromised. Uh, our the computer systems are compromised emails it's just absolutely think so that being said there was a, he got a proposal here it's for them to come in and wipe everything clean and think now the price is one thousand six hundred and thirty dollars that's a lot of, i mean that's an expense we have to have that done that. right so i make a motion that we pay this uh proposal we we hire this company to come in and service our computers and all the cell phones. I second it. Motion by Mrs. Bryce, second uh, by. Question on the motion. At one time, we had where you were able to spend up to 2,500 without having to go in front of council. Now this is something, if we had, were able to tw spend $2,500, we could have had this resolved already. This is very serious when you have information compromised on a computer. Okay. So now it's been over a week and we're still compromised. And it was just funny that they said that uh, President Bright said something about cell phones because I was using my cell phone at home and it was saying something about I had a Absolutely. virus, I was being Absolutely. tracked. I've had my cell phone for over 22 years. I've never had nothing like this. It never happened. So before. if we had the money, rather than waiting for us to come to council and saying, okay, Mike could already had it done. We just got it yesterday. We just got the well, proposal yesterday. Yeah, got the proposal, but we knew that we were compromised. Only two All you got to do is call the company. I don't care what it is. I don't want none of my information <coughs> compromised. I understand, but... And I can see if it was just on the computer, on... but it's on our personal cell phone. Right, exactly. So... I think one of the benefits of doing it by way of a motion is it will be recorded on minutes. We don't know what the scope of potential loss could be. Right. This could be helpful <coughs> to our insurance carrier down the road. Right. In the event that we may need coverage through the oh, There's another part of this that I haven't got to. Okay. Okay. So right. So this I'm is a Mr. Jordan, it may make sense to put a carrier on notice um, of potential data breach. Right. So there, there is the initial fee, and then there's a, a, an $846 monthly fee that we will be in for a year that will monitor us and cover us for anything that comes down. It was $1630 and $846. Now, so we have to do this. Is this just for our computers, or is this for no, our phones, phones, too? It's everything. It's emails, it's the phone, okay. emails, it's everything. Yes. That's going to cover everything in the borough because we are absolutely compromised. I know we are. All right, so I, I Matt, said, Matt, Matt, Matt. time of the essence, it it happened. We, we found out Tuesday we were compromised. Mike got the proposal yesterday, and today we're voting. That's the quickest we did. You know, I didn't know that I was supposed to call an emergency meeting, but we couldn't have do nothing without the proposal. So I say we vote to move forward from here. Madam Chair, did you did you say that a monthly fee will be charged from yes. this point on? Yes. And what was that amount again? Eight hundred and forty-six dollars. And for one day a year? No, for a month. For a month. For how long? For well, we well, we will contract for a year. I'm going to ask somebody in the audience, Josh. I think you're very. Or do you know anything about? 
charges for I can't like just put anybody in here in the computer system. Yeah, that's what no, happened. No, no, not to ask him. It but. depends on how deep it goes. I mean, for the price, it sounds very fair because if they're going to be monitoring everything on top of it, yes, then, then that's what you're paying for is the service that they're literally, you know, searching your emails okay. and all the communications. Yes. So that's they're, fair. they're literally, literally going to be our IT department yeah, here. here. Proactive monitoring, manage Microsoft, PC inventory. Hardware, set security, follow up, remote assistance, manage antivirus, malware, no travel fee, support services, PCs, laptops, managed service, Microsoft Office, desktop software, licensing, Microsoft email, and a help desk. So we really need to figure out, we need that help right now to cover our bases. You gotta, you gotta do that. Okay. Because, unlike Washington County, you pay 416 thousand uh, dollars to the Russians for getting hacked. Right. So they call they call me. Uh, uh, the he's not the chair, but uh, what's his name? Temper. He called me at work and talked to me about it. Okay, well, but y'all gotta do that. Okay, well, we're gonna move on this. I think I should, you know, you want somebody to make the motion to approve this? I, I still have one more question. What uh, is it? Do we have monies available? To in our budget to pay for this. We can a bar yes. my little bill. Uh, and yeah, that's not even open for discussion. No, it's not. Right. Not at this point. You're compromising everything. The police department, yes, the payroll. You know, we, we need to get this done. Yeah, the problem we have well, that's part what? of this monitoring program. The problem with these types of attacks is a lot of times there's lazy malware. There's lazy in the system dormant so it gets reactivated later. Right. So okay. just Check because we haven't had a date of loss, it doesn't mean money won't follow. So okay. I think it would make sense that you So the answer to my question, we do have monies available to pay for this. Yes, we have a surplus, and I also propose if we need to, we're going to be making a lot of money and interest every month with the new tr banking change. Okay, thank you. So somebody, can you make the motion? I you? make the motion to so go ahead yes. and approve the outside box <coughs> yeah. um, proposal and for the initial fee and for the monthly fee. fee. Motion, yeah, motion by Mrs. Travelco. I need a second. Second. Second by Mr. McDowell. Roll call, please. Mr. Barrett-Stanky. Aye. Mrs. Bryce? Yes. Mr. Bryce? Yes. Mr. McDowell? Yes. Mrs. Pavelka? Aye. Mr. Parada? Aye. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries 7 0. Okay, I have one announcement. Beginning Monday, April 1st, the borough refuse billing rate will increase from $180 to face value rate $240. You still qualify for the discount. Uh, anything mailed, a uh, postmark date, Saturday, March 30th. The last day to pay in person is Thursday, March 28th, because Friday is a holiday. So please keep that in mind. You only have until the 28th in person or, or postmark by the 30th. I have one more announcement before we leave. I also have one that was brought up at the work session that was not brought up today. Good. Good. No, good. 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 Well, we brought up at the work session, we announced all the vacancies on the open boards and commissions, and the only ones we took action on today was the civil service. Did you get any letters? Yes. Did you and you, you also have them, too. They're in your folders. Okay, did, did it go on? Did, did, was it on here? The, the issue was we made the announcement at the work session that we announced that we were going to announce the vacancies publicly at this meeting. Okay. You're going to announce those vacancies at this meeting. We have three vacancies on the Zoning Board of Appeals, and we received two uh, applicants, uh, two letters for applicants, Mr. John Bellamy and Mr. Dale Shawley. We will still need one more letter of interest for the Zoning Board of Appeals. The Planning Commission, there are two vacancies, and we did not receive any applicants. Uh, I can check off the civil service that's already handled and there is one vacancy on the Ross Draver West Newton EMS Board of Directors uh, and I don't I don't know what that term would be uh, it was just in the meeting minutes 
that there was a vacancy. Okay, thank you. We will take that into account. And, and would you please put that in the article somewhere that there we have vacancies for those boards. Thank you. And Wait, Mr. are you done? Because we have one more person. Right. What did you say? Oh, go ahead. You can see. Well, she, I want to know what she wanted this information. We can tell her we're working on that. The only thing I wanted to add, I know Janet Balco is here, that the Denora Borough oh. Easter egg hunt will be held on March the 30th at 10 a.m. at the John McNelly Pavilion, and it will be sponsored, co-sponsored by Denora Smog Commemorative Committee and the Salvation Army. And it's the 30th? The 30th. The day the before Easter? Yes. Okay. 10 a.m. I thought it was at the end. That's well, good. I'm glad you talked about I thought it was the week before. No. All right. Mrs. Cole, you had your name on here. You wanted to speak about street lights. <laughs> well, no, I want you to know that there's a list upstairs. I, I just wanted to say that the street light in front of my house is out. I've called the Westbound Fire three times. I was told that my ticket wasn't, and, 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 you know, they didn't have any update on my ticket. And the last time I called, and I said to this lady, you know, I'm 80 years old, and this is a safety hazard. And then, and she told me to make sure that I take a flashlight when I go out. You can't get people to the, who work in the office. You just can't account for what they say and what they do. And you I know it's, it's, it's a problem. It's still ongoing. It's still ongoing. And we have a comp. Is there a list upstairs? Somebody had one upstairs. Yeah, there's, one. there's there's a list of you're you're running a list of all the street lights. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, my street lights out too. Okay. <laughs> Just want you to know. Just want you to know. Huh? Okay. What? Yeah, she got on there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see me. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to? You want to? You want to? Be considered be an alternate on the board. We can appoint you next. Uh, next. You want to, oh, you want to speak? I yeah. thought you wanted to be appointed. What did you need? No, I, I had a, a couple things. One, I want I want to. Uh, uh, I told her uh, that uh, Marty's uh, well, Marty's pizza. I'm going to donate uh, some money so the boys can do a great job with the uh, winter for street clearing. <laughs> Number two is because of my job, I wasn't here for uh, several meetings, but I did want to bring up the fact that respect to the mayor and to this nice woman, uh, <laughs> uh, if they could go back, I've seen it in other cities and rectify a wrong that was done to Chief Price. No. And regardless of the fact, now, now I, you know, I know, Madam okay, Chairman, yeah. that uh, where it states that he can retire in dignity, not fire. Right. Now, I, I, I've been on committees and in public safety and so forth in Waterbury, Connecticut, which is over 105. Thousand public with 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 all due respect now Please. with dignity. I understand your wants and but we, you can you can just let that go, okay? Well, well, I, I have a comment, uh, uh, Madam it's Chair. All right. now, and number number three is, um, you know, the nice provision they have down here in town, <laughs> which is very nice. Right. I think that there should be a porter john down there. Now, I'm not classifying myself there in that category altogether. I'm trying to think I'm still young. But there's a lot of senior citizens that's in the neighborhood who might come to the pavilion and, you know, you know they, they might need to go to the when they ain't as quick as, you know, some of these women standing around here. <laughs> well, well, you know, it, it's, we, we, the, we have to have them up the park, we have to have them at the baseball field, we have to have them at the baseball field, but We'll, we'll take that into consideration. It's about 250 a month. Yeah, yeah they, they, sure they cost. Yeah, I understand that, but do they have 
Uh, we'll just put it there for a couple of months. We might be able to swing that. We'll have to look at our budget and see if that's possible. Well, what about the emergency rescue team? Can that, some of that be allocated to the I don't know if you're allowed to rent a quarter car. That's one I didn't, I didn't no. read. I was going to say, I didn't read that anywhere. <laughs> now, now, Madam Chairman, to the board. Yes, now, a few years ago, when she ran up, she tried to kill her. That, now, up on my street, the reason why we parked, and I specifically told some of our neighbors to park in such a way. Now, both of my vehicles, I parked right on top of the grass and on my property. And I know the way on what I'm hearing tonight. They probably looked in and said they were retro, which they are. And it's short. But that was because the garbage truck kept saying they, they couldn't get down get the through. street. Okay. So we parked them on top of the sidewalk. And I have a property right next door to my property, which is mine. Now, to the board. The, I got a letter in the mail saying that I was being cited. Now, what I'm doing is, and I, I called and I talked to this gentleman here, I believe. I might have talked to the code enforcement, but I don't tell you. But I wasn't happy about it because it's not even that big for ours when I got outside. And the reason why the porch is because I work in law enforcement. So there's something, even with Chief Brandon, even uh, in Chief Price's administration, I work behind the scenes as far as talking about the deal. Now, the mailman, there's a mailbox up there. They just keep throwing it on, on the ground. So I already talked to the postmaster, Vanessa. Hey, she needs to stop doing that. But since they won't stop doing that, so I'm gonna leave that. And then I'm gonna go and I know the person personally who is the postmaster of all the carriers that's in Mon Mongahelia. And I'm gonna have her say, look, every time I told them to address that, they, they keep doing it. Now, now Madam Chairman, now, with my property. Now, I, I told them, I'm talking to Chief Thompson, the boy who did ready to graduate college. And we're doing some uh, fixing up there. And hey, some stuff has got to be right out there, right there on my property. To the dumpster. And I'm very careful about, I see you would like this. We got a lot of scam artists around here that wants to do people's property. So I have to be careful on who's working in the house, as well as doing, coming down and getting uh, as far as uh, prevents and stuff. I can say, you know, everything. Please, if you have anything, you can work with Mr. Volpe. I'm to do that. Okay, well, we'll work through it. And one uh, last <laughs> thing. Uh, the one snow we had when you went down here, if you can talk to your neighbor, they couldn't get down all the way down to seven because down at the end, they just parked in. Well, let's see, Madam Chair, we're trying to work with that with uh, Chief Brand. He knows about what's going on there. Okay. There's some social problems. Okay. That's going on to one of the houses on to the left. I'm telling you, when it snows, they want to be. They have to move their cars. So, <laughs> I told well, them they could even park, uh, park on top of where, where my property line is. You know, so just to get it out of the way. Okay. I even went up that night. Dean yeah. went in and said, okay. I mean, they got it. It's it hard to get a, uh, my lens in there. I have. I have one more announcement I want to make. I was approached today with somebody that had a problem. And I listened to their problem and I told them, please, whatever you do, I can listen to anybody's problems, but you must call the borough building and report it because without all of us knowing, you know, we have to work together to make these decisions on things that need done. So please feel free to tell me any problems, but you have to call the borough and report it to the proper through the proper procedure. So she's been waiting all day. What, is there something I could do for you? I just wanted to say you forgot about me again this year. Um, last month I came and proposed my event for the street fair. Right. And haven't heard anything. It was supposed to be discussed and agreed. Oh, we're going to, I thought we took care of that. No. No, I, yeah, I thought we I thought, no, I thought we voted on that. We approved that. Yeah, not here, but okay. All right, no, no, no. I'm sure we, we agreed that that was going to be okay for you. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, okay. We did discuss that. Well, we did. We did discuss you having the summer. I, I don't know if an official motion was made, but what we just we discussed it, and I we think did. we approved it. 
Right. So that's, well, you know what? We'll, we'll put them on next month just to make sure it stays within the line. Okay. We good? Adjourn. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Carol, did you take my keys? Jay, uh, Jay, 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 J